God bless America. God bless America. That's a prayer that started probably in 1776. Just guessing. It's a prayer. It's a prayer saying, God, please, please reach out and bless America. Maybe you pray, maybe you don't. If you do, that's a prayer you need to be praying a whole lot more. Because right now, there are some evils. I don't want to call them demons, because why should we use that word? Then there's somebody else go, oh, he thinks there's demons. There's evil out there. We'll just call it that. There's evil in the White House. President Obama is evil. Only an evil man would shut down the national park systems and barricade national monuments to soldiers who have bled and died for this country. And it pisses me off to no end. My grandfather was in World War II. My grandfather was in Italy and France and a couple other places I'm not really exactly sure of. My father was smart enough in World War, uh, in, uh, World War, yeah, <laughs> close enough in Vietnam. He signed up for the Coast Guard. Smart man, extremely smart man. As a matter of fact, he's an electronics engineer. Um, developed quite a few things that helped this country. But anyways, Vietnam broke out and he said, you know what? I really don't want to go fight. I don't want to be in the middle of that, but I do want to help my country. So before he got drafted, he signed up for the Coast Guard. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. He served his country. Uncle was in the Air Force. Had another uncle that was in the Marine Corps. Hell, I can go back to the 1200s in England and had family members that were knights. As a matter of fact, one of them had a, uh, a three floor de lis added to our family crest because of an act of valor on a battlefield. He actually went across the battlefield, stole the guide on, the big flag from the other side, brought it back, and it rallied the troops so hard they went and slaughtered every single freaking one of them on the other side. Do you have to be a soldier? No. Does your family have to have had a soldier past? No. But you damn well better respect the soldiers that have fought, bled, injured, and died for this country. Because it's the only reason you're still sitting here with the freedom to play with your cell phone, the freedom to go about your day doing whatever you want. And Barack Barry, Barack Hussein, Obama, all of those are part of his name, believe it or not, has the gall to close up those monuments. Get him out. I don't know how we're going to do it, one way or another. I don't care if he's impeached, imprisoned, um, any means necessary. I don't care what. Get him out. See this shirt right here? I don't know if you can read backwards or not. It's just how the phone does it. You can't fix stupid, but you can vote it out. One of my favorite shirts, and I get a lot of comments on it. By the way, if you're wondering how a disabled veteran can afford cigars like this, it took me over 100 cigars to find one. It cost a dollar and ten cents a piece. And I save my money every month. Usually all the change, and um, I usually save up for about two or three months, and then I buy a box of cigars. That's how I can afford it. Apparently our government doesn't get that concept. They would put um, the most expensive box of cigars on the face of the planet on a credit card and make our great-great-grandchildren pay for it. Does that put it in perspective for you? A little bit, maybe? There's a lot of things like this. Pleasures. 
in this world that not everybody can afford. The government seems to think that their pleasures are their rights. Let's take Michelle Obama, for example. Michelle Obama, $1.5 million staff. $1.5 million staff. And get this, they can't even get her to shave her armpits. How about that? She was at an NBA basketball game, whooping it up, arm in the air, big old nasty hairy pits. And $1.5 million can't remind that woman to shave her armpits. Does that really matter in the big scheme of things? Nah, it doesn't. just pisses me off. We used to have women in the, in the White House with class. Hell, even as much as I hate Hillary Clinton, she had more class than freaking Michelle Obama. Maybe not now, but she did kind of when she had to. What I want is my country back. What I want you to do is open your eyes and realize that all this crap in the 11th hour, waiting until the very last minute to do your job, is not how the government's supposed to work. You had six months, six freaking months, to sit there and hammer it out and find ways to pass bills, fund the freaking veterans. How about that? You can let all the veterans go without their pay when that's all they survive on? Yeah, that's a good idea. Take all the people that are trained in this country to fight and kill, and then don't pay them. What the hell do you think's gonna happen? Think about it. What do you think's gonna happen if they don't get their paychecks? You think they might know how to hitchhike? Do you think they might know how to hotwire a car and drive to D.C.? Just saying, it's possible. Wake up and realize that all this stuff that's just happened was Barry Barack Hussein Obama making a statement to this country that he is the one in control of everything. The national parks did not have to be closed. The EBT card thing that happened? Yeah, that was another button being pushed. I guarantee it. You guys need to wake up and talk to your congressmen, talk to your senators. Tell them flat out what you want. Call them, and I'm not kidding. I mean, get on the phone, people. Make phone calls, make emails, send them personalized letters that say, look, this is what I want out of you. These guys just passed this bill so they could go out and freaking have Thanksgiving and Christmas off and all the time in between. That's all they did. They just passed a bill that allowed them to get through their paid time off without having to sit there and grind through things. They passed it just in time so that all the EBT cards and, and all the people on welfare and all the, everybody else got their pay so they could stretch it out a little bit farther. Interesting, huh? It didn't happen this time around, but it's coming. If y'all don't fight for it, if y'all don't say something, if y'all don't stand up, if we don't find a way to stand up to the tyranny in this country, it's all going to hell, and it's going to hell real fast. This is Brad Brassmaster. God bless y'all. Have a great day. By the way, if you guys like cigars, this is called the Coschero, C-O-S-C-H-E-R-O, -E Thompson Cigars the cheapest best cigar I've found period if you don't like cigars too bad I do God bless you have a good day